In this lecture, we are going to learn how to implement bidirectional relation between two entities. In our application, currently we have two entities. We have user entity and we have profile entity. So in the user entity, we have a relation between user entity and the profile entity using this profile field. So user entity knows about the profile entity. But in the profile entity, we do not have anything which relates profile entity to user entity. So here, profile entity does not know about the user entity. So in this case, we have a relation from user to profile, but not from profile to user. And this is called as unidirectional relation. We have a relation only in one direction from user to profile. Now we can also let this profile entity know about the user entity. And doing that is very simple. All we have to do is we have to create a new property here. I'm going to call it as user. So from the profile to user also, we will have one to one relation, right? One user can have a single profile and single profile can also belong to a single user. So here we have one to one relation from profile to user also. So I'm going to create a field called user and the type of this field will be user entity. Okay, and to use this user entity, we also need to import it in this file. Now, in order to specify that this profile entity has a one to one relation with this user entity, here again, we need to use one to one decorator. And to use this decorator, we also need to import it. We need to import it from type ORM. Okay. And to this one to one, what we need to do, we need to pass a callback function as the first argument. And there we need to specify the entity with which we are going to create a one to one relation. We are going to create a one to one relation with user. Now here, we are not going to use this join column because what this join column does is it creates a foreign key column on the entity. So for this profile, a table will be created in the database. If I use this join column attribute here, in that case, what it will do is it will also create a foreign key column in the profile table and it will be named as user ID. But in the profile table, we don't want to store any user ID. Okay. We just want to specify that this profile has a one to one relation with this user. But in the table, we do not want to create any foreign key column. So I'll remove this join column attribute. With this, let's save the changes. And here we also need to specify with which field this profile entity in the user table is related to. So here, since we have not specified the join column, here we do not have any foreign key column for this profile entity. So here we need to tell with which column in the user table this profile has a link. And to tell that, we need to pass another callback function. This callback function is going to receive the user object, basically this user. And here we are going to specify that the user object has a profile field with which this profile entity has to link. And this is it. This is all we need to do in the profile entity. Now, since in the profile entity, we have specified a relation to user entity. We also need to go to user entity. And there, here also, we need to pass a second argument, just like how we have passed for profile entity. And here, we are going to get a profile object, this profile object, right? And here, from this field, in the profile table, we will have a relation with profile.user. Okay, so in the profile entity, we have this user field. So this user field is going to store the user related data. So from the user entity, we are specifying that it has to relate to this user field of this profile entity. And then let's add a comma. And here we are specifying the casket and eager. And with this, now if I save the changes and let's go to profile service. And there, when we are finding the user, there I'm going to pass an object. There I'm going to specify the relations. And here I'm going to enable eager loading. So now in the profile entity, we have this user field. So I'm going to set it to true. So now whenever we are going to fetch the details for profile, 
it should also fetch the user detail for that profile if i save the changes here let's go to postman and let's open a new tab here let me copy the url let's paste it here and here instead of users i'm going to make an api call to profile endpoint okay and uh, i'm going to make a get request so this should be it let me send the request here and in the response you will see first we have the profile details and then we have the user also so for the first profile we have the profile details but the user is null there is no user for that profile for the second profile for id2 you will see that we have a user associated to that profile so we are also getting the details of that user in the result and then if you see since we have enabled eager loading from user side also so after getting the profile details it is fetching the user details and then for that user again it is fetching the profile details and the simple reason is from the user side also we have enabled the eager loading now to fix this issue let's try one thing let's go to vs code and let's go to user entity and instead of specifying this eager to true here let's say when we are going to fetch the user details in the user service we have a method to fetch the user details so to fetch the user details what we are doing on the user repository we are calling this find method so to this find method let's pass an object and there we are going to specify the relations in there we are going to specify an object and there let's say whenever this method is called we want to fetch the profile details also with the user detail okay let's save the changes so now i have removed eager to true from the entity hopefully this will fix the issue so let's go to postman and let's send the request again and if i see now for the id2 you see we have the profile details like first name last name gender date of birth bio profile image etc and then we have the user details like username email password created at updated at and deleted at so now in this user object we do not have profile related data but if i go to get all users and from there if i send a request to get all the users with the user data you will see we also have the profile data so now everything is working as expected so in order to establish a bi-directional relation between user and profile what we did in the user entity first of all in the profile entity we created one new field called user which is of type user entity on that we use this one-to-one -one decorator and there we are specifying the entity for which we want to create a relation and on which field do we want to create a relation on that entity so from the profile entity we want to create a relation with user entity on this profile field and then in the user entity also we are specifying on which field in the profile entity we want to have this one-to-one -one relation from the user entity all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day